as you add more and more managed firewalls to Panorama, and as you build more and more diverse and complex configurations, it can become more difficult to create and maintain rule sets and other firewall components. You might create a new rule, commit it to Panorama, and then push it to the managed firewalls only to learn later that the rule isn't quite configured correctly, or you put it in the wrong device group, or you put it in the wrong order in the policy. To help with these kinds of problems, you can test policy rules and other components of your managed firewall configurations in Panoram. Doing this can help determine how a managed firewall will process traffic through your rule sets. For example, I've created a security policy rule that I want to verify before I push it to the firewalls. I've placed this rule in the post rules section of the device group Corp DG. Because it's in the top level of the device groups, both the branch DG and the HQ DG will inherit this rule. The rule lets hosts in the user's net security zone access the internet security zone using the application DNS. The action is set to allow. I've committed the changes to Panorama, but I haven't pushed these changes out to the firewalls. Before I do, I can test to see if I have my new rule in the right place. So I'll go to Panorama, Managed Devices, Troubleshooting. For the Select Test option, I can choose from a variety of different tests. In this case, I'll choose Security Policy Match. Now I'll choose one or more firewalls to test this rule against. I'll choose both firewalls. The from field is the source zone. I'll enter usersnet. The to field is the destination zone so I'll enter internet. The source is the source IP. I'll enter 192.168.1.45 which is a host in my users net zone. Destination is the destination IP. I'll enter the IP address of a known DNS server on the internet and for destination port I'll enter 53 which is what DNS uses and I'll change the protocol to UDP. For application I'll select DNS and now I'll click execute. In the results section I can see what security policy rule this kind of traffic will hit. On both firewalls it seems this kind of traffic will not hit my intended DNS rule so I've set something up wrong. Without performing this test I would have pushed the new rule out to the firewalls only to discover later in my reports or through some phone calls from folks in remote locations that my rule is not being used. I'll go back into the policies. Look at how the rule set appears on one of my target firewalls and this is a good time to use the option for preview rules. In this case, when I look at the HQ device group and I choose the Chicago firewall, I can see that the allow DNS rule follows after the allow internet access rule. The allow internet access rule allows any application whereas the allow DNS rule allows DNS. Traffic will always be processed on the firewall by this rule because the application is set to any. I just need to move this security policy rule for allow DNS higher in the rule set. So now I know where the problem lies. Note that you can also click this button here for test policy match to take you right to the same window for troubleshooting your security policy match.